Hello, Bertrand. Good uh, afternoon uh, from here in uh, Brussels in Berlaimon. Thank you, Maros. It's an uh, incredible moment to be able to speak to you and the European Commission from Solar Impulse. Because what is happening today is an attempt to make the first ever crossing of the Atlantic with a solar powered airplane, that means electric airplane with zero emissions. When we see in the history, the, the Atlantic Ocean has always been the ocean between the old world and the new world. And today, new world and old world still exist, but they are not continents. So this speech that we have together really touches me very much. We have the same goal, we have different fields of influence and we can collaborate. We learned a lot about your plane, that it has a wingspan, there's a big jumbo jet, uh, 747. But at the same time, I understand that it's a very light plane, that the weight is about uh, the, the weight of the, of, the, of the personal car. When I explain how this plane works, it's like speaking of a science fiction story. But it's reality and it's today. So the, the sun that I see just above me is giving energy to the plane through the solar cells. And the energy uh, goes to the batteries, to load the batteries during the day flight and to the four electrical motors. Which means that you fly during the day, when the sunset arrives, you continue through the night with the batteries, you reach the next sunrise and you continue. So it's not only a solar airplane, it's the first airplane ever who has theoretically an endless endurance. Perpetually, it can stay in the air. So this, this is really the message that renewable energies and clean technologies can achieve the, the impossible, impossible goals. When I initiated this project, nobody told me that it was possible. People told me, you're completely crazy, you cannot do that. But in the cockpit, if you want to know a little bit more about the life of the cockpit, it's, it's like a little apartment. I have everything here. I have my desk, my office, with all the flight instruments. I have the kitchen where I can heat up some food. That, that was very uh, interesting for some of my, my colleagues. Seat. Yes, and I, and I could put the, the seat flat in order to be able to sleep. How long will uh, all your flight uh, uh, last? Uh, this flight from New York to, to Spain uh, will be three days and three nights. So I just uh, wanted to tell you that we, that we heard your message and uh, we are now working very hard uh, uh, to present the new rules, how to reduce uh, the greenhouse gas emission from the sectors uh, like transport, like uh, agriculture and uh, how to increase the energy efficiency in, uh, in our buildings. As your plan, I believe that also the buildings in Europe can save energy, can produce the energy. I can tell you that we are working very closely, not only with the governments, but also with the cities, uh, with the local authorities. Uh, and I can tell you that uh, the mayors uh, are one of the most enthusiastic supporters of this energy transition, of these economic uh, transformations, because they want to transform their cities into the smart cities. So, Baros and all your uh, colleagues, you have to know that we are fully on your side to make things happen. So, you see, we're going to continue to to do a lot of things together because I admire very much what the European Commission is doing. The European Commission is ambitious in the energy policy. We're very much looking forward to work closely with your uh, coalition to make sure that also the advice you would uh, provide us this could be properly used.